Uh, I'm watching out for IGL. Now, remember, the company has gone ahead, raised prices by of CNG by 1 rupees per kilogram. This is with effect from 22nd June. Now, remember, this comes in after the company had in, uh, cut prices by 2.5 rupees per kg just before the elections. Um, and uh, there, were, there was chatter, and we spoke to PNGRB as well, where they indicated that they want uh, limited price hikes uh, by the industry, and they want their profit margins to be in a certain stage so that it does not hurt the consumers as well. Now, Morgan Stanley says that they have an overrate rating on the stock with a target price of 575 amid global gas outages and lower gas allocation in the domestic markets. IGL hikes CNG prices. And this is something that the city gas distribution companies had indicated that APM gas allocation has been lower than the previous uh, years. Uh, CNG remains attractive versus alternative fuels, according to Morgan Stanley, and hence the high should support their margins. And it would be margin accretive as well. The other hang, uh, problem or the headwind for this industry was that the EV policy in Delhi could have impacted volumes. But um, they say that investor confidence on growth should return as the EV policy overhang unwinds because there are still some hurdles there. And that's why they continue to remain positive on IGL. Okay, that's uh, the call coming in on IGL and MGL. Get